What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Replay Pitfall The Lost Expedition. Last episode, we made it all the way to the Great Tree after punching a bunch of natives in the face. I mean, it's really kind of unfortunate, really. But yeah, they're attacking me, they're throwing their freaking melons and junk at me. Uh, uh oh. They're closed behind me. That's always a good sign. <laughs> oh, there's a howler monkey right there, too. So also in the last episode, I spent like eight or nine minutes reading all the journal stuff. Um, I only be- Whoa, what the heck? Gas mask needed. I there's a shaman in there! I can reach him! Oh. First death in the game. If you saw his little silly death animation, it's very silly. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, when he died, it just starts you back at the beginning. Anyway. It's, it's not a big deal. Um, let's take out this Howler Monkey. Damn. Before he starts waking up all those peeps. Uh, so yeah, this is the great tree. There's not really much to do here besides go up. Let's take a look around. You can see these cool statues that like, gather the water and put the water around the tree. That's I, I thought that was pretty cool. I not see you coming. There's another one right there, though. It seems to almost be quicker to like, punch multiple times in the walk. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe not. Uh, maybe maybe it's about the same speed. All right, so let's start jumping these obvious mushroom platforms. I uh, don't know how well it's going to go, to be honest. I always kind of mess up around here. The higher we go... Whoa, did you see that monkey? <laughs> he like slowly fell down. So that's why the tree, uh, the, this place closes behind you, because these things explode and all the water comes out. It's really strange. I quite don't understand. Ha! <laughs> I love knocking these guys into the water. Uh-oh. Melons! Melon power! Oh, And he's gone forever. <laughs> Okay, let's get up on this mushroom. Boy, I love me. By the way, I haven't mentioned this this yet, and it's a bit strange to be mentioning this. Oh, that was weird. Didn't expect that. Two minutes into the third episode, but I'm gonna be posting these Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Why? Instead of just every second day, like I normally do let's plays with. Uh, the reason behind that is because that was my original schedule for posting this game: Monday, Mon Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> Well, the first time I talked about that because I accidentally did it, but I don't know why I'm doing that. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy that. And what is this? This almost looks like a gutter, doesn't it? I saw it was a weird platform. Actually, what if the Gizmo 85 track go? Can we see that in here? Um, I don't see it. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure there's got to be somewhere around here. <laughs> uh, whoa, holy crap! Whenever those vibrates, I think I'm gonna fall or some junk. I think it's gonna make me mess me up. Hello, Howler Monkey! Bye bye! Enjoy your drowning! <laughs> oh, I'm evil. Also, why are there tree branches coming out of the rock like this? That doesn't make sense, and I could not save myself there. I kept trying to jump, but it wouldn't let me. It was silly. It was being a silly. Alright, come on. <laughs> Thankfully, there's no problem in this water. Come bite my butt! Bite my butt! Um, did I mention I'm just gonna read journal ep or journals and stuff at the end of uh, every second episode? So I'm not gonna even check the journal this time. In between episodes, I will check the journal essentially, and then the, ep the following episode, I will catch up on it. That way, I don't waste time. Be like, hmm, do I have any new journal entries open? Well, this is the way forward there. However, of course, that's a distraction because if you could actually go higher on this tree, yeah, look at that howl monkey, the howl monkey. Oh, this can be a bit hard to jump up yeah. sometimes. There's a secret idol. There's actually a way to see how many idols. Oh, there's a bird nest in there. Did you guys see that? I always forget about that. Um, yeah, I can actually just go this way as well. I don't even have to use that vine. I'm actually curious what else is up there. There's a weird statue over there with a. That's weird. It's like the Emperor's New Groove. That's what that guy reminds me of. <laughs> uh, I did not see where we are going right now. I was not paying attention. St statues of AR. See, now there's the Gizmo 85 tracks again. I don't know where the heck they came from. Whoa! Oh. Snake! <laughs> I love after everything we've already seen, we're being really cautious about the snake. <laughs> Bouncy noises. It's huh? <gasps> uh oh. No need for thanks. Oh, part of the job. What? 
you can talk. Some jags have what it takes, others don't. You mean vocal cords? Not vocal cords, magic. Why, well, isn't it apparent that I'm one of those super courageous jaguars who defend the weak, who protect the innocent, and who a very powerful wise sorcerer would therefore bless with the power of speech? <laughs> that snake, it was dead. Huh? And you knew it. Oh, no. Dead snakes are the most dangerous kind. You're walking down a path. You find a dead snake. You pick it up to study it. You slip on a rotting mango. You fly onto your back as the snake goes airborne. And there you are, helpless on the ground, when coming down through the air towards you is the dead snake. Its beady dead eyes fixed on you. Its dead mouth wide open. And its dead fangs about to plunge right into your neck. Luckily for you, the bravest cat in the jungle just saved your life. Oh, so loud. Run! Uh, that, that always seemed like a bit of a cop out to me that he runs because of the howler monkey all sound like that. Whoa. See things blink in and out of existence at the top there. <laughs> but that was Quicklaw, one of my favorite characters in the game. Actually, he probably is my favorite character. I love Quick Quicklaw. Probably one of my favorite like GameCube arrow characters as well. Maybe he's one of my favorite Nintendo characters in general. I love Quick Claw or Quick Claw. He's so cool. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the talking jaguar, which is a bit weird, um, you did say he was blessed by someone with magical powers. What is this? Freaking Teletubbies? I don't know why Teletubbies, but, you know. <laughs> Alright then, so let's climb these statues that very conveniently have vines growing on them, yay! Now look, it's a very convenient tree with a very convenient vine growing out of it, yay! Oh no, this statue's been beheaded. I think that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. That's kind of sad. Oh, smash strike needed. There's a monkey symbol. It's a monkey symbol. Smash strike, A. Eh? What's down there? I don't think an idol. I mean, it's only worth one, so who cares about that? If it was an explorer now, nah, then we would be thinking of portals. I don't know why. Rising strike needed. Jeez, we need so many things. All the things. Um, alright, let's go this fine. Uh, it's a bit hard to lose, like, where you're going in this area, I find sometimes. Bit in Binder's Camp, but we actually started... Yeah, if we could get this camera here, we actually started down there. So, yeah, we're going the right way. To Bit in Binder's Camp! Oh no, I can't see. There, there we go. <laughs> where am I going? Uh-oh. Um... Outdoor melons and a porcupine. I I'll just leave you two to it. <laughs> if you look over there, there's a whoa, there's a bunch of evil stuff going on. Uh, okay. The only way to proceed here, fortunately. Here, look, there's some in the water. Uh oh. Oh, he missed. He's, he's missing really badly now. You are not doing a very good job, dude. Oh no, okay. It, it works out. <laughs> Alright, so the only way to proceed forward is to go over here. Oh no, it was another. Oh, there's another porcupine up there, but he's choking on the gas. How do you even get there, guy? Ah! So as long as you tap A and you're constantly swimming, they'll never catch you. is still an inexact science. Opposed oh, to getting gyrocopters stuck in trees. Exactly. I've been here less than a day, and I'm already a master. Great! You should write a paper on it. Or the journal of the National Society of Getting Things Stuck in Trees. Okay, I guess that's it. I don't know how well you guys can do that, especially with the music in the background. Um, so here we go. We found something like Bitminder and someone else. <laughs> Such awkward waving. Oh! You didn't stick the landing, must look cool. Things flip. aren't going very well, I'm afraid. After we found this abandoned structure, Leech took off in his gyrocopter and got himself stuck in a tree. I've broken my arm. The gizmo tank's stuck. Here, take this. The heroic handbook? A book of knowledge that no adventurer should be without. I'm afraid some of the pages were scattered in the jungle during the crash. 
But at least the rising strike maneuver is still in there. It'll help you free the gizmo tank. Cool. Now the rising strike. Press BA to launch yourself into the air, getting added tight and hitting anything above you. Try it by knocking out those ruins for Bittenbinder. So yeah, this allows you to do a super jump. Yay! And you just kind of all you do is I slap my my, my thumb from B to A, and it's it's pretty easy. But if you don't like, if you just tap tap, it doesn't always work like there. Yeah, so it seems Bittenbinder broke his arm. So that's why I was saying spoilers last episode when I was reading things. Oh, cool! Has a little cracking hook. So yeah, this is the thing we've been following this whole time. I've been leaving those crazy tracks. I would say there's something on, it grabbed onto the back here. Those things stays here for like the whole game, pretty much. It's, it's pretty lame. <laughs> All right, let's get up here. Oh, is that a no? Huh? So you are you saying like the winch isn't working or something? I don't understand. All right, right, strike that board. I will do it. I did it. I almost feel like that won't work. <laughs> Good job, Harry. So, why are you guys here? Leech. You're here for Leech? Free Leech and the gyrocopter. My guess is that if you hit the bullseye on the wing, that should do it. Mm-hmm. All right. I used to help my friend, Kevin McAllister. The archaeologist from Yale? By acting as his guide. When he came here a few months ago, I was too busy to join him. Well, at least that's what I tell myself now. He hasn't been heard from since. When his daughter Nicole asked me to help her find him. I see. You're here because of... Nicole. Because of guilt. Which is not such a bad thing. For instance, you should feel guilty that you haven't tried to free Leech from that tree. It's weird that he opens up to you like that because, I mean, we just said, mm-hmm. And took that as, okay, I'll tell you everything. <laughs> You've received the sling. Let's see if we can use it to free Leech from the tree. So, Pitfall said I could use the thing to free leech from the tree, pretty much. Ah, there we go. Okay, I knew there was an idol somewhere around here. Um, yeah, it, it, the, it, the one big flaw of this game is sometimes the audio plays over it, each other. Like, the some of the sound effects is really freaking loud. Uh, and it goes over, like, the people that are talking. There's, sometimes the music plays over, like, there'll be two of the same song playing over at once. It's really strange, but yeah, in case you don't know where the heck Leech is, he's up here. Anyway, he's in the plane, the mini plane. Which is weird, I do not know. I think there's a, is there, is there one more dude up here. Yeah, look at him, still tossing his melons. You, you don't want to escape their mask guy? Well, I don't know where you'd go. I don't feel like you'd be able to swim with a mask like that. So yeah, now you have the slingshot! Uh, I hit the bullseye and <laughs> just the, well, the gyrocopter. So... Yeah, you can't just- oh, you can shoot. It's just, oh, you can only shoot once. So, how this works is you press C down to, to load it, and then you'll start spinning spin it faster. And you press C up, or you just release it, apparently. You don't shoot. Oh god, I could've crushed him! That would've been awkward. <laughs> oh, hello there. You must be Harry. Hewitt. Hewitt Leach. Oh, thanks for getting me down from there. I just wanted to see if that thing works, and if you could really fly it. Oh, it does. And I can. And it can. And I will. You can? Or you will? Or it will? It can if I can. And it's my will that it will. So it can. Hey! Time is ticking! D but he can't. Or won't. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Totally went to that tree. Oh, what the heck? That was not spinning that fast. I'm gonna set up camp here. You think you'll be able to find the other members of my party? Help them out if they're in trouble? Would you do that? I can, and I can, and I will. Would you stop talking like that? I could, but I won't. LOL. So, Bleach was the other guy in the. Thing, apparently. I certainly wasn't one to turn down Bittenbinder's request for help, and Nicole probably was the only girl within a hundred miles. Luckily, Leech had chopped down that tree, so I decided to climb it and head back the way I came. Soon enough, I'd find a whole lot more than I'd bargained for. The only girl in a hundred miles? What about all the natives? Surely some of those are girls. Alright, so... Leech knocked down a tree. Is that relevant to us? Oh, that probably fell in the water, didn't it? Well, actually, we could kick this tree down. That just opens something for later for now. 
Nothing we can really do about that now since we need a gas mask. Although we can come over here and unlock. There we go. Now it'll be on our map that we need one. Hey, there's an idol in there. Forgot about that one. Oops. God, I forgot about that. What the heck? Oh, that always happens. Dang it. Alright, so if we actually come over here now. Now they pull out the Gizmo 85, we have a little platform for us to come up here. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Bitten Binder pretty much has revealed to us that the whole reason they're here is to rescue his uh, partner. Um, I forget his name already. <laughs> from, he's from Yale though, I know that much. Let's jump up here. That's so cool to me, this game takes place in... Um, 1935. That's like almost 100 years ago. Well, in 20 years, it'll be 100 years. So 80 years. Whoa! I forgot those guys shoot their quills. Oh, good lord. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm, I'm like hitting the freaking. Okay, this is not working at all. You can use a strike there. Oh, I'm gonna die. Ugh. I'm, why is this not working? Oh. Okay. Okay. We need to stop that now. Oh, there we go. I, I hit. I hit him. Oh, good lord. Holy crap. So you get him on the back. Then you punch him. Good lord. <laughs> oh, so yeah, they, when they roll at you, they also stop. Okay, we're gonna be safe here. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please free leave a like and subscribe. Right? Should I? Maybe we should, because I know for sure I unlock things on the. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually read the journal. I said every second episode, but I know for sure I have unlocked things on there. So, um, if you guys don't want to listen to me read the journal, uh, feel free to tune out now. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave likes on already. My name's Chris. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Okay, let's look into the journal. Uh, oh, two entries. January 25th, 1935. 10:23 a.m. Now I've seen everything. I just ran to a talking jaguar. I don't. I'd almost think I'm getting jungle fever. Maybe I should take it easy on the magic water. Uh, drugs. So okay, talking jaguar. Check. Blessed with the power of speech by a be benevolent sorcerer, or so he says. But he doesn't really act like a jaguar. Talking jaguar! I guess we don't know his name yet. Huh. More like some guy who always goes on about how tough he is when he's a total pushover. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, lost sight of the gizmo tracks, but I think I'm still heading in the right direction. Must be getting close to catching up by now. That's funny that he would say that. There's no way for him to know that, silly... January 25th, 1935, 11.02 a.m. Finally caught up with Bitbinder and Leech. Looks like the Gizmo 85 broke down. Must have been a heck of an accident because all the parts were strewn all over. Some people just can't drive, I guess. <laughs> well, Bitbinder did have a broken arm. Helped him out for my troubles. Bitbinder gave me a sling. Should come in handy. Plus, now I've got a heirloom in case I ever get have a kid. Like, that's ever going to happen. No one will ever pin me down. He also gave me that Hurl Can book. Seems it's a collection of adventure wisdom collected over the ages. Uh, most of the pages were lost in the crash, but there was one move, the Rising Strike, still in there. It's a pretty nice move, too. I'll have to look out for the rest of the pages. They must be spread all over the jungle by now. In fact, come to think of it, I'm pretty sure that the native shaman had some for sale. Bittenbinder also filled me in on a little why the expedition is really here. Turns out it's a rescue mission looking for a professor named McAllister. Okay. Yeah. An old friend of Bittenbinder's and Nicole's father. He went missing six months ago, but because of the crash, the, this rescue mission is now in need of rescuing itself. Guess that's where I come in. Leech! Holding a leech. So anyway, Leech, leech took off in the Sumgyro contraption and Bittenbinder got to work on repairing the Gizmo 85 and setting up camp. I promised him I'd lend a hand rounding up the other survivors. He seemed extra worried about Nicole, but I told him I'd take care of her. I'm a sucker for damsels in distress. Oops, I didn't want to completely close that. I just thought that would back out of the journal. Uh, hints don't care about... Okay, we unlocked two new things. A pork pine! Pork Whoa, that's super scary! And those doesn't seem to have many quills. I guess Perry got bored of drawing them. <laughs> sure, they may be cute, but these guys are deadly. From a distance, they'll shoot me out with their quills, and up close, they'll try to barrel roll me with sharp spikes. It doesn't do much good to fight them directly since they'll probably just hit me with their spikes. When they're charging me, though, I could dodge them, and they'll usually smash into something and get dazed for a bit. Then I could smack them uh, in their exposed soft belly. And if I'm quick, I could trip them on their back with a well-placed sweep kick. Yep, very true. So there's actually quite a few ways to fight those guys. Pla Plantus Noxius. I think that means horrible, stinking plant, but my line's a bit rusty. What do you mean you named it? <laughs> These plants create an impassable wall of poisonous gas. Pretty much the only way I can ever get past one is if I use a gas mask. Too bad the expedition's gas masks were lost in the plane crash. Maybe I'll get lucky and find one, though. 
I'm sure that's impossible. Uh, inventory, the sling. Uh, do you say anything? Given me a bit and binder. He says it was a gift from him from a Wasabi tribal chief in the Umgatu region of South Africa. Nice! If I ever have a kid, I might make a good... Wow, you mentioned that twice. That's weird. Um, Alright, that's it. Thank you. Oh, heroic handbook. Alright then. So you see there's six moves. Um, three of them? No, two of them you buy from... Uh, from the shaman and the other ones you you get just periodically through the game. They're the ones you get in the game you have to get, so you'll you'll see. Press B to yeah, can you just say that? Oh, from the Royal Handbook. This move was perfected in seven thirty four AD by the Sha Shaolin monk Chu Hong Shang. It serves the dual purpose of allowing the puncturer or practitioner to attack airborne threats and be able to reach high ledges that can, a normal jump could not. To attack airborne threats, that doesn't come into play until much later, but it's definitely, like, a good thing to know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like already. My name's Chris. I already did this. So, if, you, if you're actually watching these journal entries, that's awesome. It really does give you a new, in-depth look at the game. Um, yep, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye!